My name's Jeb. And it's time for more hydroponic potatoes. Well, it's sunny as usual here on the planet Tatooine. I suspended the seed potatoes from these little rope nets. I really should have gotten a smaller rock for this reenactment. Oops. At the start I was worried just a little about the stems. Not making it through the hole in the lid. But they guided themselves right through there. You see, the stems grow toward the light. You don't have to worry about them. The hailstorm was scary. Thought everything was going to be lost. There was a little more leaf damage in the hydroponics because the impact between the, the lid and the hailstones tore up some of the leaves. The seed potatoes rotted out pretty quick. I just hung them in there halfway in the water. The little bit of seed potato skin that was left and the stems just kind of held on to the ropes. In the first grow I learned that the yellow lid needs to be painted so that light doesn't get into the tote and spoil the tubers. But I forgot about all that and just let it grow. So I still had green leaves sprouting on the potatoes. And on the stems. I promise I'm going to paint these lids. So next time. The plant started to get a lot bigger in week eight. But otherwise, nothing happened. Nothing. I needed a couple potatoes for dinner one night, so I figured I'd just pull them off of the plant early. On a side note, I've been adding just a little bit of water from the hose every couple days. I can't quite tell why, but I find this imagery disturbing. This quantity of potatoes is sufficient for my needs for tonight. But I'm seeing some green on these and not happy about that. Exposure of potato tubers to light, either in the field, in storage, on the store shelf, or at home, will induce the formation of a green pigmentation on the surface of the potato. This is called greening and indicates the formation of chlorophyll of itself. Chlorophyll is not a health concern, it is harmless and tasteless, but in potato tubers, it is like the canary in the mine shaft. 
The green indicates an increase in the presence of glycoalkaloids, especially in potato, the substance solanine. When the potato greens, solanine increases to potentially dangerous levels. I know, I know. You could eat 50 pounds of that stuff. <laughs> I guess life's a little different when you have kids. Another indicator of this toxin is a bitter taste, which I guess bugs also don't like eating. So I'm going to save this one for seed. That's right, I just keep my seed potatoes on a shelf in the garage. Well, hello, Mr. Frog. Now I know why I haven't seen any bugs under the lid. Did I mention that potatoes don't like hot weather? I got back from vacation and it had been hot while we were gone. So a lot of the plants were in distress. Do you ever have noisy kids in the garden? Maybe this one. Speechless. What do you think? Is there some potatoes in there? A wing ropes. I know. Too much sunlight got in. There he is. Mr. Frog was still in the tote when we harvested. We were able to uh, pull him out safely. The size of the potatoes was a little disappointing, but, you know, there was quite a quantity and I think if the weather was cooler, it could do a lot better. snack-sized potatoes first. Almost got a pound of the big ones. Thanks for watching.